I'm going to show you cavitation. So we're going to uh, take the liquid out of this vessel and uh, pass it to the other vessel till we get definite cavitation going. <clears throat> Can everybody hear the cavitation? If you see it, you can see the air bubbles being pulled through the pump. So this pump is in a state of stress. We have inadequate suction energy available to this pump. So the NPSHA is below the NPSHR. That's net positive suction head available is below the net positive suction head required. Now that, the level of liquid, atmospheric pressure, the velocity through the pipe, all of that information would be available on a suction pressure gauge if I had a suction pressure gauge on my pump. Now, the problem with this pump right now is it has inadequate suction energy. Therefore, the discharge production of this pump is also inadequate by the same degree of starvation. If it's 20% starved on the suction side, the output is 20% reduced. What we need to do is one of two things. Either control the flow, restrict the flow, because by less flow means less energy required, or I need to bump up the energy coming into the pump. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna add a coffee cup of water. This, this is not magic. Mm -hmm. About a third of a cup. What did I do? I increased the energy available to the pump. Now, <clears throat> in very simple terms, the atmospheric pressure on this cup is the same as the atmospheric pressure on that tank. So what I did was I took this much elevation, I actually increased the static head on the suction side of the pump. Now, if I added a coffee cup of water, maybe a coffee cup and a half of water, how much did I raise the elevation in that? I didn't raise it this high, did I? <clears throat> if I added a coffee cup to that vessel, I might have increased the elevation in that vessel a millimeter to two millimeters. Now, to show you that, I'm going to take that much energy out of my system. So I'm just going to come down into here. See the bubbles? It's just making noise. Get this over here. Take out another half of a cup. You see the bubbles? Pumps in cavitation. Now, the pump is starved again. You can hear it. Now, this is what cavitation sounds like with a plastic pump and a plastic tank and a plastic pipe. If we had iron tanks and steel pipe and a steel pump, do you know what cavitation sounds like? It sounds like somebody threw rocks and nuts and bolts into the <coughs> pump liquid and it rattles and it sounds, well, it sounds like rocks passing through the pump. Well, this is what it sounds like, as I say, with a plastic tank, plastic pipe, plastic pump. And let me say that that motor, that motor is something like one one hundredth of a kilowatt, meaning a hundred of those things is one kilowatt. A hundred of those things is one kilowatt. Now, you guys, you guys have 
1,000 kilowatt motors, 500 kilowatt motors, 200 kilowatt motors. 100 or maybe even 150 of that is one kilowatt. So it's very small. Now, this pump is complaining. I'm gonna get what the problem is, we don't have enough suction energy coming into the pump. And I'm not gonna know how much su my suction energy is if I don't interpret the suction pressure gauge. So if your pumps suffer cavitation, it is simply because somebody is not paying attention to the suction pressure gauge. It's that easy. 